Hello and welcome to Sense Business YouTube channel. Today we'll talk about recruitment and selection. I hope you are having a good day and staying safe in the current situation. So in this lesson, we'll cover what is recruitment, the process of recruitment, job, adm job advertisement places, CV and application forms. We'll talk about employment contract and what's included and i have prepared some questions which will help you memorize everything we learned today so grab yourself some water or coffee and let's enjoy this about 10 minutes lesson so recruitment and selection of staff is about finding and choosing the best employees to work for an organization so finding the right people for the right role at the right time it ensures the workforce has relevant skills and abilities for the organization's current and future needs recruitment and selection is key to success or failure of an organization so you've got to remember you invest so much time to get people to find the right people to work for you so if you have a job that's for a good salesperson and if you cannot find a good salesperson or if you find somebody that's terrible at sales you might not be able to make enough sales and you might not be able to make enough money then it all just backs log so so it's very important that we have the right people at the right time for the right job an, or an organization will know they have a vacancy because of the following somebody might have left someone has been promoted so they need replacement new department job role might be available due to expansion or it could be increased workload long term i've put long term here because if it's increased workload for short term then you could actually get an agency to uh, to come and help you uh, cope with the workload so in my current job when i have too much um, work then what i do is i would normally call an agency and ask for a couple of staff maybe five six to help us and that is usually in uh, christmas times and summer time so these are the two times that i would ask for extra staff from agency and we'll have a vague temporary vacancy for someone however but if it's a long term then you are um, better off employing someone directly because you're paying less so if you're paying nine pound an hour from a company but if you're paying any if you're getting somebody through an agency you'd probably be paying somebody about 14 pounds an hour so it's normally cheaper long term to get somebody employed so job description includes essential responsibilities activities qualifications and skills for a role should include important company details such as company mission because if people don't understand the company's mission they are not going to bring much to the table they need to know what the company is about so they have similar missions too so they can work up and the company becomes bigger and becomes successful they need to the job description should have a bit about company culture and any benefits it provides to employees because it's great that it's a massive company but what benefit does it have to the employees so you need to put something there that thanks for working with us and here is what we'll give you if you work with us so these things could be free eye test we have here the company that i work for company car they have 36 days holidays uh, so things like that it will attract the right candidates for the job it might also specify to whom the position reports to and range salary so these are things that you or an organization should have in their job description to attract the right people so where can we advertise our job it's great that we have done 
our job description so where can we advertise it so the base places to attract base place people this will be different for each type of job uh, possible places to advertise could be internal not sports external not sports sometimes um, when I advertise jobs I always try and promote it on our internal not sport because that gives people an opportunity to move departments and uh, also get up the organization's letter so it's important that you promote it here as much as possible then external not sport jobs and turn not so much keen of it but i do advertise their local radio i personally never advertised on local radio for any jobs that i've had so yeah but some people could some bigger organization might do local newspapers national newspapers but to me, the very important of all is the internet and job advertising websites. I advertise on our own website, uh, the company that I work for. I've advertised many times jobs. You get a lot of people apply through your own company website because there are people who are interested to work for big brands. So it's important that you advertise on your own website or other job sites like total jobs and monster and and so on there's a lot of job websites make sure that if you work in recruitment that your jobs are advertised in such places to attract the maximum uh, people so where a business advertise will depend on how much it can afford and from how far away people will consider applying for the job for example for a local part-time unskilled job employers would be wasting resources by advertising in the national press they will also need to think about whether enough of the right people will see the advertisement there's no point of you advertising uh, to the whole country if you're only if you if you're only a small organization wanting an unskilled worker workers to uh, to work for you so for example if this is your warehouse this is the whole country what you don't want to do is advertise it to the whole country you want to advertise it around this area because it's a small warehouse you want to attract the local people give them make the local economy better so for a warehouse job i don't think somebody from this part of country would come over to work in the warehouse it'd be very rare so it'd be a waste of resources for you to advertise your jobs around here what you would want to do is advertise jobs locally around here but if it's a, a skilled unique job then that people around here doesn't really have the skills then and qualifications then you might consider promoting it around all areas of the country so people come and apply for it but you'll need to offer adequate advantages for them to travel you might want to offer them property or something to live around here so they are close to the company there has been times where i've had to travel so travel from my workplace into a novel warehouse to work there and fix um, some of the work that we did there so there might be we might you might be re uh, relocated for a, a little bit of uh, time but we are not talking about relocations here we are talking about attracting the right candidates for the right job in the local area okay so cv and application cv is a detailed document highlighting your professional and academic history some organization may ask you to submit a cv when applying for their jobs available i don't normally look into cvs i ask uh, for applications we have got application forms and i send it to them and they fill it in or they can do do it on our website or on online so cv is a good way to tell people what you have done for your professional 
an academic life. Application form is a form that you complete in order to apply for a job which will be used to select candidates for the interview. I think uh, somebody from somebody that does a lot of interviewing and in jobs uh, advertising application forms are a lot simpler because you can put them into the system and the system will pick the candidates that have used specific keywords and they have specific qualification which makes it a lot easier i think but then that depends on different organizations so the difference is an application form is an application form is something that you fill out usually online these days and give specific information that's asked of you Whereas a CV is a document that you create that summarizes your experience, which you submit directly to the employer. So that's the difference. Also, just so that you know, I'm giving away an iPhone. The link will be in the description below. Just go click on the link, get your winning code, come back and comment on this video with your winning code, and I will contact you if you're the winner for that iPhone. It's a free iPhone. If I were you, I would just give it a try. Anyway, the process. So the hiring manager will study the application forms and all the documents in order to select the candidates who meet the criteria for the job. From the application form or CV, they will produce a short list of candidates to interview. The short list will usually contain less than 10 candidates there has been a time where i've had 15 20 people shortlisted and then i've invited about 10 to 12 to that interview that's the maximum uh people have uh, asked to come for an interview for a job role but there has been times where you, about 200 people applies for a job and nearly 100 of them have the right skills to do the job but as an organization where you don't want to do is to waste hours and hours and days interviewing all these hundred people you'll just have to select 10 12 best candidates at the interview the candidates will be asked a number of questions about their skills and trust and other experience they have uh, they might possibly be given some tests such as mental um, arithmetic I cannot say that word, uh, IT or aptitude test to see if they would be able to do the job. So it is important to, to do this activity because you can get to see um, how they interact and how they cope with pressure and so on. So contract of employment. So this is a written legal agreement between an employer and an employee giving details about the employee's job title and starting date, payment method, hours of work and holiday sickness benefits, period of notice required on leaving the job, pension agreement, and many other important aspects regarding company and employee rights. So now it's question time. Thanks so much for watching so far. I want you to answer these questions. This is the very important part. You need to answer these questions in the description below and I will I will check them and reply back to you to make sure you have got everything correct and you have learned this uh, lesson. And what three ways might people be asked to apply for a job? What is a CV? What is a shortlist? Describe the other methods an organization might use to select from the applicants. Uh, what factors do you need to take into account when choosing where to advertise a vacancy? Which four important pieces of information are missing in the job advertisement for this company? List three items that need that should be included on a contract of employment link for uh, all the answers will be in the description click on that but before you click on it make sure you answer all these questions so so then you can compare your answers to the answer the actual answers of these questions uh, 
if there's any questions please comment that in the um, uh, description as well and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you very much make sure you like share and subscribe and i'll see you on next lesson tomorrow stay safe